good morning everybody in today's session we are going to discuss html media so how to use audio and video in your html web applications that is what we are going to learn today okay to support audio audio is the tag that is used and to support video video is the tag that is used and in your html5 not all formats are supported and one more thing is you do not need to have any players as a plugins to play the audio or video video only three formats are supported they are mp4 webm and ozz so these are the formats uh, that are supported uh, for the video in html5 in the same way audio it only supports mp3 wav and ozz these are the three formats that are supported so in this class we are going to see how to use uh, this video and audio tags and how you are going to implement them in your web applications okay as said video is the tag that is used and these are the different attributes that can be used with the video autoplay uh, which will by default uh, play as soon as the uh, page is loaded auto buffer which is video will automatically buffer and controls like playback resume pass forward all those controls that comes uh, with the attribute uh, called controls then there are other things like src which will give the source of the video height and width uh, which shows the display of a video and poster which will show an image until the user plays and loop again it's a boolean attribute which will automatically play once the video is reached to the end so these are the different attributes that a video supports and i would like to take a, a simple example see here i am mentioning uh, two formats of a same file for mp4 and ozz based on the type of browser uh, that the user is going to use so it should play so that is the reason i am selecting both the formats so that uh, all the browsers are supported so i'm uh, here using three attributes width height controls and then uh, this is what the <clears throat> file that i wanted to play so let me take a new file Sorry, let me take this as HTML file. So let us add video.
I created a folder called uh, sample videos from where I am taking the video underscore mp4 dot mp4 and video underscore ozz dot ozz. Okay, so this is a video. I would like to play this in the At this moment, I would not specify the height. So I'm specifying two formats of the same file. And if both the formats are not supported, I'll show this message, your browser doesn't support HTML5 video. So this is what my example. So my video is appeared in the HTML page with the specified width and all the controls that are available. So play, pass, full screen, increasing and decreasing the volume. Mm -hmm. So the attributes I've used is width and the controls, all the controls are directly came. So and one more thing here is, you do not need to have any other extensions or plugins to play this HTML by default plays all these videos. Okay. The same thing, let us also uh, demonstrate audio. I'm mentioning two formats, MP3 and as well as OZZ, so that all the browser supports. So the same kind of attributes the audio also has. Autoplay, auto buffer, controls, loop, source and preload. The all the attributes just like the video. So now I would like to use audio with the control so that my volume controls by default comes to me. So I have sample audio file that I've created and with two sample files called music.mp3 as well as OZZ, these two formats. Audio tag and I am using attributes as controls and mentioning the path to the file layer music with the two formats. Let me refresh my page. So, the control that has come into by default. Okay. Any questions till this part? No. So there are several events that you can use with the media events, uh, the audio and video, if you wanted to perform certain actions. There are several events such as uh, pass, play, volume change, error, loaded data, load start, seeking, seek and waiting etc so let us uh, 
uh, try an example by using some of the events in the javascript okay. okay so what i wanted to use is i wanted to keep so four buttons called play and pass big small and normal and when i click my play button it should do the specific action when i say big it should change the size of the video to bigger size when i click small it should change the size of the video to smaller and uh, when i click normal it should come back to normal so this is a simple example that i would like to do let me create four buttons so let us mention an id to my video okay i'm calling my video element in my javascript Okay. the same way if i want to make the big, make it big i'll change the width to more size if it you know for clicking on the button small it will make to smaller size and normal it will bring back to the normal okay So let me refresh the page. I see the it's pass it's playing. I'll click on big. It increases the size. Okay. Click on the small. Reduce the size. Normal. 
Yeah. Okay. So this is how I can control my video player. Based on the oh. any questions till this part? No. Okay, so apart from this audio and video, if you wanted to use some plugins, such as, see, I'm I'm only supporting three different types of files, right? You see, if I wanted to have different other formats of files, like flash files or something on your HTML plugins, it could be a PDF reader, it could be a HTML file, it could it could be a YouTube video. So the two elements that are used are object and embed. Object and embed. So let us see how to use uh, and implement this object and embed to add the plugins to my HTML site. So I said first I would like to use object to insert a HTML five page. So we already have uh, my clock dot HTML, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one which we learned in the yeah. sorry animations. So I would like to show this particular part via using object in the HTML as a plugin. Okay. Okay, so let's start doing it. I would like to render my HTML page using my object. Okay. Let me add So here the parameter used is data, whereas in the case of embed it is source. Okay.
Something is missing. Yeah, it is consuming too much of space. Sorry, what I'm using embed. Yeah, thanks. Okay. okay. So this way I uh, added an HTML page inside it. Eh? Another HTML page. So let's see how to add a flash file. You know, flash file is something you always see in your multiple uh, websites. For example, if you see suleka.com. Okay, anyways, I'm not able to show as of now, but yeah. So, flash files are mostly used in all the web applications. And in case, when I would like to showcase my one of my flash file, how, how it looks. So, let me see. This is a sample flash file. I would like to show on my HTML page. So while uh, browsing many web applications, you see some advertisements coming in, right? Yeah. So this is a flash file. So I would like to have this kind of flash files on my web page. So in that case also, I would use embed as well as object both. Okay. See, in this way, I would like to have some advertisements coming on my website. So in this way, I'll be able to use flash files. The same way you can also use it for object. So you can also, you know, showcase your PDF readers, etc. And in case, and apart from these, you know, formats, if you wanted to show any other videos of different formats, like SWF, I'm using it. And if you would like to share a YouTube video directly, If you would like to show share your YouTube video, I can use this, any of these things.
something like this so i would like to have this video directly coming on my web application how to do it just go to a video go to this part share mm -hmm. go to this embed okay copy the source from here okay Do we consider this as object or embedded? Huh? Anything you can use. Okay. Yeah. Let me increase the size otherwise. So I understood you need to go to this place, share embed and copy this video because if you open this, doesn't open as YouTube, it opens like this. So this is a way how you can actually include videos from uh, YouTube directly on your web application. Yeah. Any questions till this part? No. It's simple. So this is the brief understanding of usage of media in your web application.